Warning, the following story contains a major spoiler about last night's episode of Succession. It's the biggest plot twist in the four seasons of the show. Some of you might want to leave the room. So we're going to give everyone the opportunity. Oh, Corey's going, you lost the camera guy. Okay, that could be a problem since we're a visual medium. But anyway, you've been warned. Here's the spoiler. Logan Roy's dead. This guy's dead. On the show, Brian Cox is fine, everybody. Yes, this guy's fine. This guy's not. And even though we never saw it happen, Logan got short of breath and his heart stopped. You're thinking, he's actually alive. This is something he's doing just to screw with his kids. They show them doing chest compressions on someone, but you can't see who it is. So you thought maybe he's not really dead, but he was. It was the most brilliantly acted half hour I've ever seen on TV. Then you're gonna love the second half hour because the show is actually an hour long. But yes, the acting was amazing. He has gone. I mm. think he has died. Well, okay, but you don't know that, so. Sure, I get it, but like, I think they know. Okay, okay, maybe. Well, maybe it's all. They didn't get Siobhan immediately, so she couldn't say goodbye. And just her reaction. Yeah, not me, I'm alive, <laughs> and so are my parents. He's only dead on the inside. <laughs> And if you needed a spoiler alert on that one, you must be new to our show. Welcome! There are a lot of people who are pissed off at the LA Times because they wrote an obit and they published it as the episode was starting. That's not cool. Like so people were pissed. Because you gotta do a spoiler thing. And that's the biggest plot twist of all. People still read newspapers. R.I.P. Logan Roy, we're gonna miss you. How long can we leave Corey in there? <laughs> <laughs>